What is happening everyone, it is your boy Brad here, welcome along to the Big Brad channel and it is the boxing side of the channel that we are going to be um, videoing about right now. I said earlier on my um, reaction and play ratings video that I would be doing this video later on and now the time has arrived where I talk about boxing and particularly the heavyweight division of the world. Because there are two major, major incidents that I would like to touch upon. Now, uh, most of you are probably wondering, why is he just talking about the heavyweight division? Well, the heavyweight division is my favourite division. And like I said, I don't have the boxing IQ. I don't have an IQ for other divisions like the flyweights, cruiserweights, such like. But I do know boxers from various like um, divisions like... Um, Obviously, Alexander Usyk now has come up to heavyweight, and he was formerly a cruiserweight. Um, I know plenty about boxing, but I don't have a real boxing IQ in terms of like all the other divisions other than the heavyweight division. So that's just me telling you guys that most of my videos will probably be about the heavyweight division, but I'll try and touch up on a few subjects um, about the other divisions here and there. Like, for example, Josh Taylor has near enough uh, unified the lightweight division. He beat his opponent the other night, and that was a pretty good result for him. But let's go on to the uh, the major news that has um, appeared over the last few days. And yes, it is official. It seems like it's official now. In July, we're going to see the trilogy between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Oh my god, where the fuck do I start with this? Where do I start with this? Well, at first it was going to be the unification fight we were all dreaming of seeing. The all-British clash between um, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury to unify the division. But, of course, there was one man and one man only who was going to stop that. And that was known as the Alabama Slammer, the Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder. He went to the um, arbitration, Court of Arbitration of Sport, and basically said that he wanted the trilogy, and he said he wanted it because, obviously, he's entitled to the rematch, which he is entitled to. Don't get me wrong, but... Um, and obviously now, the court has... Um, Seem to have agreed with Deontay Wilder that he deserves the trilogy. So, Fury signed the contract and it's official. July, I think it's somewhere between the 20th and the 30th of July. In that, in that bracket, I don't know the exact date. But it is sometime in July when the trilogy will happen. Need I say more? For me... It's do or die for Wilder. It is definitely do or die. Because if he loses again to Tyson Fury, that's it. He cannot come back from that. He lost the first fight. Let's not kid ourselves. Yeah, he knocked him down in the 12th round twice. That Those two knockdowns turned a Tyson Fury win into a draw. That's it. That's it. Fury had that fight that close, he was that close to winning it straight up on points, but no, Wilder got the two knockdowns, it put it back in his favour, kind of, but then obviously it went to a score draw, and we all know what happened in the second fight, again, got sculled, knocked out, well not knocked out, but um, his corner, Wilder's corner stopped the fight, threw in the towel, and you know the rest, you know the rest by now. It is what it is, and um, yeah, so we've got the trilogy. Not what I wanted, not what I wanted at all. I wanted the um, unification fight for the world titles between AJ and um, Fury, but listen, Wilder, you knew that Wilder was going to go to the um, arbitration because you knew he wanted the trilogy, he wanted the rematch, and he's got it, but of course... You cannot deny and you cannot put away, put away that Deontay Wilder has still got the hardest 
hitting power in the world. Even though he hasn't sh- he didn't show it against Fury, he didn't land a- hardly landed a punch in the second fight, hardly landed anything in the second fight, but he still has that one weapon that everyone before Fury had succumbed to. I mean, there was only one man before Fury that took him 12 rounds, and that was Bermain Stavern. And I mean, he was no great fighter. And then obviously in the rematch, you know what happened there. First round knockout. And that was when Wilder was just getting himself together. But now obviously he suffered a setback and he's now having to deal with um, adversity. Just like AJ did. Just like AJ did. When he fought Ruiz, he fought him. Lost in New York. Came back. Won the rematch in Saudi Arabia. Now Wilder needs to resurrect his career and he needs to knock Fury out. Can he do it? It's possible because he's knocked him down. He knocked him down those two times. Nearly kept him down on the canvas for the second time. But Fury rose from the ashes and came back. It was just like a horror movie when he rose up from the dead. But, wow. It has been real, real crazy. And the other... Story that I would like to bring up. I'll bring it up in a few minutes. But obviously, like I said, it is do or die for Wilder. He needs to knock Fury out. But Fury could just go in there and play the same tactic as he did in the second fight. Bully Wilder. And just take him to the cleaners. And I hope that is exactly what happens. Because I don't want Fury losing the world titles before the Battle of Britain unification fight with AJ. But... Now going on to my second story of why um, this is all coming about. Well, we know one thing. We know that Fury is fighting Wilder now. So now Joshua must find himself a new opponent. And that new opponent has now been ordered by the WBO. The mandatory challenger for the WBO World Heavyweight title. Obviously it'll be for all the titles. And that man is of course... Alexander Usyk, the former cruiserweight king. Anthony Joshua has been ordered by the WBO to fight Alexander Usyk, as obviously the unification fight will have to wait until after uh, the fight between Wilder and Fury. So Joshua needs to find a new opponent to defend his title against, titles against. And that man comes in the form of the cruiserweight king, Alexander Usyk, who has had two fights at heavyweight and has not lost. He's won them both on points. And I mean, it is a new step for Alexander. And like I said, I wish him all the best in terms of his um, step up, in terms of his weight and having to um, go up in terms of weight because it's a different world at heavyweight compared to being a cruiserweight. But like I said, This fight could be a really good fight. It's a contrast in styles between two different kinds of culture of boxing. I mean, you've got one, Anthony Joshua, that is a hard-hitting heavyweight. And he can box. He can box. He's done 12 rounds um, twice, I'd like to say twice in his career. Against um, Joseph Parker and uh, Mandy Ruiz Jr. I think he's done 12 twice because the... Previous fights before Joseph Parker, he knocked everyone out. And obviously he knocked out Vladdy, Vladdy Klitschko, during that period as well. So, and that was 11 rounds. So, yeah, he's done 12 rounds twice as Anthony Joshua, from my reckoning, from my count. Anyway, if I'm wrong, leave it in the comments. Um, But yeah, like I said, AJ's got the power, he can box. Then you've got the skillful tactician, the technique. There, let me get my words right. The technician in Alexander Usyk. And I mean, I have watched a few of Usyk's fights. And I mean, he he dictates the ring. The moment that he gets in, the moment that he gets into a stride, he can dictate a fight. I mean, I was watching the match between him and Bellew, Tony Bellio, before he made the jump up to heavyweight. That was his final fight at Cruiserweight. And he knocked him out. And I mean... That fight, at the start, Usyk was shaken. He was all over. He didn't look comfortable. But then when he got into a rhythm, started catching on a bit, he caught fire, he knocked him out, knocked Bellio out. 
and then made the jump up into heavyweight where he's done two 12 rounders against um, Witherspoon and um, um, Derek Chisora. But now he's been um, put as the mandatory challenger for the WBO world title and um, the WBO have ordered that he must fight Joshua now. Get a date, get it sorted, contract sorted. It needs to be done within so many days. Otherwise, the WBO will um, get the purses together and whatnot. But like I said, it is a contrast in styles between two different kinds of boxers. And I'm looking forward to it, to be fair. I am really looking forward to it. And I mean, most people probably think, his boxing IQ is shit. He doesn't know shit about boxing. Well... I may not know a lot about boxing, but I am a boxing fan. I love the sport, even though I don't watch other divisions like your cruiserweights and your flyweights and your featherweights and your bantamweights and all those. I mean, I, I'm not a boxing fanatic. I mean, I do watch the big fighters, like the heavyweights. The heavyweight fighters... Are my favourite boxers. I mean, there's more... Like, I've been told, yeah, there's loads of more fighters down in the different divisions. I mean, I've watched some fighters from previous divisions like your Canelos, like your Triple Gs, your Billy Joe Saunders and your Terence Crawfords and Yamia Khans and Kel Brooks and all these other fighters. But, like I said, my division, my favourite division is the heavyweight division. I mean, that's what I'm basing my videos off. And I will bring up some points in terms of... Try and bring up some points about the other divisions, but... I just love the heavyweight division. That is my favourite division. And I mean, like I said, the two big breaking newses that came out, obviously, was the uh, trilogy between Wilder and Fury, which now seems to have been signed. Wilder Fury has signed the contract. It's down to Wilder now, and he's obviously signed it. So it looks like it... So it is near enough official. And obviously, the WBO have ruled that AJ must defend against mandatory challenger Alexander Usyk. So, it's all happening in boxing. It's all happening in the world of sport. So, hopefully, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow with my um, end of season review for the Arsenal. And um, if there's any more boxing news, I shall be doing videos on that. Until next time, we'll see you later.